Martin, and I'm the creator of PreAlgebraTeachers.com. I help middle school math teachers inspire and engage our students inside the classroom so we can still have a life outside the classroom. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite games that my students beg me to play, and it is called Grudge Ball. You can use this game to cover any math topic, and I love playing this game for test review. My class is actually having a test tomorrow, so we're actually playing today and it's awesome during state test prep season. But you can play this anytime you want. So let's get started. So you can see here that I have my class set up in three teams. You can have as many teams or as little teams as you want, but I would recommend at least three teams, um, and then you can have as many more if you want. But really, I would like to keep the teams between five and six kids. You will need a Nerf basket. So here's my Nerf ball. There's my basket. If you don't have a Nerf basket, a trash can works fine too. And then just some test questions or grudge ball questions. I like to use task cards. So these are simple orders of operation task cards that I will project onto the screen and then the, my students will have to answer them. So the way that it works is let's just say we start with team one and team one gets this question. If team one gets it right, they can pick one player from team one to come up to the board and erase the life of someone else's team. Every team starts off with 10 lives and you are not allowed to commit suicide. So you're not allowed to erase an X from your own team. You must pick someone else's. So someone from team one will come up to the board and erase the life of another team. They will then go to the spot in my classroom where they can shoot the ball. They will then come shoot the ball into the basket. If they make it, they can come up and erase another life from whatever team they want. If they don't make it in the basket, that's okay. We move on to the next question. So then now we will move on to team two. And let's just say team, this is team two's question. If team two gets it wrong, Team three has a chance to steal. If team three gets it wrong, it goes back to team one and team one gets a chance to steal. If no team gets a question right, we will talk about it as a class and then move on to the next question and move on to the next team's turn. So that's Garage Ball. It's one of my favorite games to play. Your kids will be so excited, so engaged in this game. I, I swear my kids beg to play it. They're so excited to play it today. If you have any questions about how to play grudge ball in your class, let me know. See you next time. Bye.